Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, we're in the jungle once again, and I thought we'll explore two different types of stoves that work well for bushcraft and camping. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks. So I've chosen two stoves to look at. These are non-gas canister stoves. We've got an Exhibit stove, uh, which is made from galvanized steel. It packs very small, as you can see, and it can open up just like that. You would put some fuel over here, you would light it up, and then you place your pots or your mastin on top. The other is a wood stove or twig stove. It really comprises of several parts. There's this main base over here. And then we have a load chamber as well as the fuel chamber that sits inside just like this. There's also a pot stand which you put together and that fits over here just like that. And that allows you to put your pot on top. So two different stoves as you can see, completely different uh, design. Uh, same functions in the sense that they're there to help cook up your food or boil your water. So which one is better for bushcraft and camping? Well, from a size point of view, definitely this seems to win out. It's so much smaller. It is slightly lighter. This is made of titanium, so it's very light as well. There are stainless steel versions, which would obviously be heavier. Uh, it takes up very little space. Now, the main thing, of course, is what fuel you use for this. I guess you could use uh, wood uh, to put the fire, but you can see it's very small space, which means that your fire is going to be pretty small. It's not going to last long. Not much space between your mess tin or your cook pot and the fuel source over there. So it's going to be tough to reload. So typically people would use hexamine tablets or solid fuel. So that's this over here. Uh, you can burn that, put that inside, and this size lasts about 12 minutes. Enough to definitely boil your water, um, cook, well, reheat some things and depending, maybe rehydrate food, uh, cook instant food. If you really actually want to do cooking uh, from scratch, from raw food, raw meat, uh, probably that's going to be a challenge with just one tablet. Maybe you have to put more and I'm not even sure if you'll be able to get um, that sustained heat long enough depending on what sort of pan you're using. Uh, I also have some wax jute over here which can be used quite well. I can use it for either one of these uh, stoves. Wax jute is basically jute rope which is soaked in uh, melted wax and left to harden. And I've done a video on this. You can check it out in the link in the card above or the description below. So essentially, uh, this it's small, it's compact, but you're going to have limited burn time. And of course, the size is going to be pretty small. For this, the load chamber is pretty substantial. Now you can put twigs, uh, which a lot of people do. Uh, in my case, I'm in the jungle a lot. It's hard to find dry wood unless you really process it. Now, even if I split wood and I process wood, I find that it's still very wet inside. Now, you can it can burn once there is a fire going, but if you want to try to get it started, even if I to feather stick this, it's not going to catch a spark. Even if I put a lighter to it, it's going to light, and once the light is out, it is going to go off. So you need a combination of different uh, fuel sources. What I do is I bring in wood chips, and I also have fat wood, which I use sometimes. I also can use my wax jute, which I showed. And if I use everything in combination, this really gets going. And if we're talking about full chamber, uh, this really lasts 45 minutes to an hour easily, and it's a big roaring fire and i've actually shared how i use this stove in wet conditions before you can check out that video in the link in the card above or the description below as well so overall if you're going for a very short trip a short hike you're gonna just have maybe very simple food rehydrated food to heat up or instant food or you want to make some coffee i think this would definitely suffice you could just bring a few hexamine tablets solid fuel and light that up and you can get this going really quickly very convenient very easy to use you just have to be careful uh, these edges tend to be very sharp so when you open and close this you just have to be careful if not you can get cut pretty easily with this wood stove it does take up uh, significantly more space but it is lightweight in the titanium version and it can last very long so i could make coffee i could boil water i could cook food reheat food uh, really can get really going 
and because it's quite large and you could constantly feed it through this load chamber it's almost like a constant fire that you can keep going a small fire of course uh, but i find that uh, to be very advantageous so if you're going for a longer hike or you're going to have more meals or you're camping this might be a better choice than this uh, just small stove over here but i should mention when i was a scout and even in the army we used this esbit stove i definitely did not have anything like that uh, this would be packed it goes into the mass tin with solid fuel inside and we would use that you know three four days in a row uh, absolutely no problem but which stove do you think is better for bushcraft or camping this espit stove or this wood stove over here or do you prefer alcohol stoves or gas stoves and you think those are your go-to stoves uh, do let me know in your comments below well, to end the video, I'm going to heat up some food. I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to use both of these stoves and I'll just enjoy the day in the jungle. So I'm using the lighter to light the wax jute. And once it's lit, it's really easy. I just throw it into the fuel chamber. I've already got some wood pellets inside, about one quarter filled. And really I could have used less because I only need a burn time of about 10 minutes and this will probably burn for 15 or 20 minutes. Now the whole idea is to kind of uh, mix the wood pellets with that wax jute which is already lit and the whole idea is for it to get caught on fire. Now it didn't go out, it's really just uh, being turned around. So just give it a while and the wax jute will set fire to the rest of the wood pellets. In the meantime, I'm going to light up this half of a solid fuel. I only need half because again, I only need a burn time of less than probably 8 minutes. So once I have that lit, I put that into the It's Bits stove, as you can see. And you notice that's bent in because that is for a cup. And I'm going to fill the cup for, with water and that's for my coffee. Now every time I carry water uh, for cooking, I always have it in my secondary water bottle, which is this flat bottle over here. So that doesn't take up much space in my pack. So I'm going to set that down and I'm going to let that boil. Now, really, this is just for the video. I'll never use two stoves like that at the same time and not so close together. I have some MREs here, so some combat rations. This is pasta with some sausages. And it's already cooked, so all I really want to do is heat it up. So really, instant food here. So I'm going to put it into my cook pot. And then I'll take the cook pot and put it onto the wood stove. Now, the great thing about MRE, of course, is well, everything is ready for you. It is a bit heavy if you're going to carry a bit. But if I'm just out for a day, I think it's perfect for one or two meals. So get that on top, cover it up, and it'll just take probably about eight minutes to heat up. But we will check on it by stirring it around. We do not want to get it burnt. Now, the water is already boiled, so I can take it off the stove and I can move the exhibit stove aside and I can uh, take my coffee, which is going to be an instant coffee as well. That's right, everything is instant just to make things easy, uh, make things self-contained. And again, this is just for a day trip, so I think it's fine. So I'm going to pour the contents out and then just give it a mix. Now you notice I have a mat underneath the stoves. So that's really just a flame retardant mat and I just generally use it out of habit mainly because the ground is always very damp and wet and also if it's not then i don't want to set fire or burn the ground so once we've got the coffee all stirred up we just let it set because it's still really hot boiling water in the meantime i can check on the food so it's very important to always just kind of mix up the food you do not want to get it burnt because once it gets burnt it sticks to the bottom of the cook pot and then as you know it's really hard to clean out if you can use it for another meal it's just gross but it looks like i have the meal ready i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content in general please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell thanks for watching talk to you soon